scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. God, and the spirit of power that not only will we become a people of knowledge, but that will become a people of power. Power with God and power with men. Hallelujah. So I trust that in the next three weeks that God will expose us not just to his knowledge. It's our desire that we be a people of power. Hallelujah. We be a people of power. Not being subjected under the elements of this system. That we can rise above it. He said, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. It doesn't just take understanding. It takes the ability of the spirit. The power of the Holy Ghost. There is an enabling of the spirit. That there is an energizing of your spirit man. That lifts you above the plane and the limitations of this realm. Power with God. That we will generate sufficient energy. To be a people of stamina. A people of grace. And a people of great power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's good to see everyone. It's good to see long um, missed faces. Hallelujah. So I'd like you to walk up to 10 people, smile. Regardless whether they are your friends or enemies, walk up to 10 people. Tell them it's good to see you. You may be saying hello to your next destiny helper. Hallelujah, are you excited? Come on, give Jesus a shout of praise. Can we sing the song, Yes, Lord? Are you ready now? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is no other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Just a 
your voices. Sing yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. There is no other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There's joy in his presence. Hey. We're not just excited for nothing. The Bible says that the shouts of joy and of victory shall not depart from the tents of the righteous. We're not just shouting because we are excited for nothing. I know I can never be a failure in this life. No, no way. The glory of God is upon me. I arise and I shine. Come on, prophesy in one minute. There's greatness inside of me. I'm a citizen of the kingdom. The light of God's glory is at work in my spirit. I'm energized in my spirit. Above sickness, above failure, there is grace and glory. In the name of Jesus, above Satan, above this life, I see no limitations, no setbacks. The word of God is my eyes. I see reality only from God's perspective. Prophesy, I'm a victor in this life. God cannot fail. I cannot fail. I cannot fail. God cannot fail. I'm a victor in this life. Anointed by the power of the Spirit. Come on, prophesy. Say you are anointed. Call yourself the anointed. The Holy Spirit lives in you. His energy, his ability, his wisdom, his grace. The understanding of the word of God puts you in a position of victory. I am well favored. The hand of God is upon my life. Blessed in the city. So says the word of God. Blessed in the country. His word is upon my lips. His favor is upon my head. I am a victor in this life. I refuse to fear. I refuse fear. Perfect love casts out fear. For God has not given me the spirit of timidity, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. I arise and I shine. For my light is come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I dwell in the house of God. And so I flourish in the courts of the Lord. I am not.
not a victim. No. I refuse to be a victim. There is wisdom for me. Go ahead and pray. You are not a confused person. Refuse confusion. For there is a voice that speaks to your spirit man directing you showing you the path of life says thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path it gives me guidance gives me direction hallelujah hallelujah listen I've said it here a true leader does not maintain followers he raises other leaders are you listening to me tomorrow some of you will be the ones standing in your ministries in your organizations our job is to train you to do a good work and prepare you hallelujah we're not just raising a prosperous people we're not just raising a people of understanding a people of power of grace of faith fearless the depth of your understanding in the word of god is what gives you faith and stability so that you are unshakable and immovable bible says i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded no one can preach me out of this reality hallelujah and tonight i don't want you to just join the crowd jumping and shouting make sure you take the word of god very seriously hallelujah thank you jesus tonight i'm going to be teaching on spiritual perception now i need you to follow very closely this teaching because in this prayer series we are going to be activating certain things in our lives that will cause us to walk like kings that we are hallelujah please be seated god bless you blessed is he who comes in the name of our god blessed is he who comes in the name of our Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Acts chapter 14. Acts chapter 14. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Acts chapter 14. Begin our reading from verse 6. Acts 14, verse 6. Hallelujah. We've been teaching and bringing us into the understanding that we are spiritual people. Hallelujah. The Bible teaches of three classes of people. One he calls the natural man now please look up the natural man the bible says is that man that does not understand the things of the spirit why because the holy spirit does not live in him hallelujah and if the holy spirit does not live in him the things of the spirit appear as foolishness are you following me now and so the natural man is the one who is not regenerated not born again has not had any encounter with the spirit of god the one we call the unbeliever then the bible talks to us about another class of people and he calls them the carnal ones the word carnal doesn't just mean worldly it means one who is ruled by his senses are you following me now one whose flesh is the governing factor in his life so one who is led by the things he or she sees and hears and your sensory perception bible says in romans chapter 8 verse 1 he says there is therefore now no condemnation 
to them which are in christ jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit he said for the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus had set me free from the law of sin and death he said for what the law could not do in that it was weak in the flesh so the law weak in the flesh and so those who are governed by their senses they are governed by the limitations of this realm the things that they feel their perception their reality is based on their sensory perception bible calls them the carnal ones hallelujah and it's religion that brings carnality when people have knowledge a form of godliness but deny the power and then the bible talks about a third class of people called the spiritual ones the spiritual ones who they are the ones who by reason of an experiential walking with the holy spirit over time have come to a point where they have exalted the presence of god and the word of god his word and his voice above and beyond their senses they have come to a, an experiential reality where the word of god becomes the governing factor of their lives they are led by the spirit they are led by the word the word of god paints the picture of their new reality their senses has lost the ability to draw a picture of their future and their destiny they only see things from god's perspective let me tell you something about perception in the spirit in the physical realm when you talk to people they speak to you based on their level of perception how they see reality are you following me now for instance in geography basic geography they teach us that the sun rises from where the east and sets where in the west from this plane of reality that is true is that correct but when you go outside of earth you will know that that reality no longer exists is that correct based on a new plane that you are standing on you see that the sun is not rising and setting is static and the planets are revolving around it hallelujah and so we must get to that point where we become spiritual people not just in word that the holy spirit lifts us to a plane in the spirit where we stand from god's perspective and we begin to view life not from the perspective of education and government and the policies of men that come with their frailties and limitations that we stand from his plane and begin to judge things spiritually hallelujah the bible says that the spiritual man is judged of no man because he lives by the word he lives by the spirit so god is helping us so that we will walk in the spirit galatians chapter 5 verse 16 so then walk in the spirit and ye shall not gratify the desires of the flesh it says for the spirit lusted after the flesh and the flesh lusted after the spirit and both of them are consistently under contention and so it tells us that the way forward is to walk in the spirit to live in the spirit to come to that point where we not only function as intellectual people but we function as spiritual men hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Acts chapter 14. Verse 6. And they were aware of it and fled to Lystra and Derby, cities of Ly Lyconia, and unto the region that lieth round about. 7. And there they preached the gospel. Verse 8. He says, and there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from birth, who never walked. The same had Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed. Now the Bible uses a very interesting word. He says that Paul was preaching and he saw a man who was impotent. And while Paul was preaching, he turned and he perceived in his spirit that that man had faith that was able to cause him to be healed. Hallelujah. Spiritual perception. 
the art of knowing and relating with your spiritual senses hallelujah when you get born again let me tell you something to be spiritually dead does not just mean that the holy spirit is away from your life it means that your organs of expression and interaction with the realm of the spirit have been deadened are you following me now the bible makes us to understand that god designed man to be able to function both in the realm of the spirit and to function in this realm are you following me now the bible says that god made adam man dust and breathe upon that man the breath of life the spirit of god and that man became a living soul capable of relating with both realms are you following me now now when the holy spirit left man what are, it wasn't just that man lost righteousness but he came to a point where he was spiritually dead because the holy spirit left him his organs of expression and interaction with the realm of the spirit became deadened are you following me now that was the beginning of what we call experiment a true spiritual man does not experiment adam named the animal without making any reference to any biological material the word name the animal does not mean he called lion lion it's science that called lion lion adam gave lion its identity hallelujah and so when man fell he no longer was able to normally relate with the realm of the spirit and interact his sense of hearing seeing perceiving and knowing can i tell you something in biology they teach us that we have how many senses let's do a quick review name them one two so uh, what is what's the third one hallelujah basic biology now we are taught that we have five senses hallelujah but in the realm of the spirit you have more than five senses are you following me now I, i've read books about spiritual senses and people say you oh, no 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 there are certain manifestations in the spirit that do not have an explanation in this realm for instance what ability of the spirit do you use to know things you need a mind to know things in this realm in the realm of the spirit if you touch the flower in the realm of the spirit you don't know it by studying it you have the feeling of becoming that flower and instantly you have every knowledge that you require about that flower are you following me now in the realm of the spirit there is no time and there is no distance are you following me now these are spiritual realities you you do not measure time you you cannot measure time time is irrelevant in the realm of the spirit this is why god says a thousand years is like a day before him so as far as he's concerned the promises he made in your life he still made them today and while you are grumbling and complaining and say lord five years god says this is you are talking from a fleshly point of view when you rise and become spiritual you will know that it's still one day god is still faithful hallelujah because he functions from the realm of eternity ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 the bible says that he makes all things beautiful in his time and he has put eternity in the heart of man and so the realm of the spirit is an interesting realm in the realm of the spirit there are no secrets are you following me now no secrets if we're all to be caught up in the spirit right now you need to confess and repent and roll on the floor because there are no secrets in the spirit that's why the bible calls him the father of light in whom there is no shadow of turning all things lay bare in the realm of the spirit and every time you begin to that's where we get the concept of what we call imagination comes from the hebrew word yazar the ability to conceive things until they crystallize and become a reality in the spirit that's how demons and all of these mind readers and sorcerers are able to tap into the spirit you see there are several planes in the spirit the realm of the spirit is not heaven the realm of the spirit is a spiritual environment that is real just like this are you following me now 
so when you get caught up there are many people who are smiling they've been caught up into the realm of demons and sorcerers astrologers mind readers and all of these people they function from the realm of the spirit that's why they can tell you certain things about your life because what you call future when you go to the realm of the spirit you find out that it's not future it's only future according to this realm that's why god gave us expo he says you want to reign in life see it in the spirit you will always be ahead in this life and then you reproduce it in this realm if there is victory in the spirit then there must be victory in this realm that's why the kings every time they would go to war they would call the priests and the prophets see in the spirit and tell us are we wasting our time or oh, this is a victorious battle and the prophets will come and say i have seen it there is victory hallelujah but the society has trained us to be carnal people who walk after our senses and get whipped and punished by the vicissitudes of life hallelujah the realm of the spirit is very powerful one time i was caught up in the spirit and i looked at people and all i was seeing was light they were emitting different different um magnitudes and colors of light and the holy spirit spoke to me and he told me this light is the degree and the depth of christ that has been formed in the people hallelujah and your strength is gauged in the spirit by the degree of light that you emit that's what we do in quantum physics when you want to know things about elements you expose them to light and they reveal certain things where did they learn that principle from why do you think quantum physics is hard because it's an attempt to study realities that can only be explained in the spirit don't blame yourself because your lecturer called you stupid he has not yet come to the realm of the spirit to understand how hard things are you should clap for me come on i qualify to work as a counselor hallelujah there are many of us who when we get born again and get filled with the holy spirit we are not taught how to begin to interact with the atmosphere of the spirit and if you are not taught you can get into error because suddenly you find out that your organs of expression and interaction with the realm of the spirit are coming alive and then you do not know how to navigate through the path of the spirit then we begin to hear voices and have expressions that we cannot explain and this is why this teaching is preparing us are you getting blessed the bible says paul was preaching and suddenly there was a signal in his spirit man the bible calls it perception the ability to perceive realities hallelujah when you get born again and the holy spirit comes to live in you when you're filled with the holy ghost and you begin to pray in tongues you see when for many of us who have been taught that this tongues thing is only raising pentecostals you are cheating yourself there are certain levels of light and glory and power you can never walk in god gave you the blessings of the gift of these tongues to cause you to activate your organs of expression and interaction in the spirit suddenly you begin to pray in tongues and while you are praying in tongues suddenly you feel a cool sensation and you cannot explain you cannot account for a few minutes later your body is burning what language is being communicated suddenly your eyes and your hands it looks like there is a particular operation of the spirit that causes only your eyes to begin to burn lord what are you saying what spiritual language is this what organ of expression is being activated in the spirit and suddenly you are praying and sometimes you have to turn because you sense you are not alone in that place of prayer and then you cannot even understand your organs of interaction with the spirit they are getting enlightened and built and activated by the power of the spirit and you begin to pray and there is a manifestation and you begin to hear all kinds of sounds sometimes you hear voices choir singing and angel manifestations you feel oil crowns on your head all kinds of things fire sometimes you are praying and in less than one minute you sit down and fall asleep and you cannot even explain what happened 
it's important that we train ourselves to understand these things because these are the weapons of victory in the spirit and if you do not understand you will feel that the holy spirit is not leading you are you getting blessed tonight thank you lord jesus christ perceptions in the spirit there are many of us who pray and suddenly you go blank for a few minutes then you come back and you cannot even explain what has happened you just know that in that split seconds when you start writing what you saw it will take an hour and you're saying what is this in less than a minute in earthly time you got realities that will take you an hour and religious people will say well just mind your business with these your things you are doing but the holy spirit is calling you to understand the atmosphere of the spirit when danger is about to happen to someone somehow there is an ability of the spirit that is at work in you and when you train yourself to understand these perceptions you will be able to flow as a king in this life and in this realm you will never be taken aback so when someone comes and wants to do business with your father the moment you want to move there it comes again the spirit your organs of interaction in the spirit no matter what evidences you have there is are you listening to me if you do not realize that you are a spiritual man you will be cheated in this life because you will miss out on certain things there there is a way that the holy spirit communicates to me every time I'm, I'm entering new seasons in my life can i tell you something there is no hard and fast rule into working in these things it is a personal product of your dealings with the spirit that's why you cannot just write book and a, a book and say every time you feel heat is the healing anointing no sir it's true that the healing anointing is associated with heat and all of this you can't just generalize it you will lead people into error because as you stay with the holy spirit he begins to teach you what he will reveal as his impressions he will teach you his language and his code that is customized to just you and when you stand to minister that's how sometimes we minister it doesn't mean we always see visions there are times that i'm moving and there is an operation and there is perception in my spirit and i know not just that the anointing is there but the kind of anointing that is there and you don't waste your time trying to heal headache when there is an anointing to heal cancer and then you keep struggling until your spiritual antenna keeps navigating and suffering then when you finally hit it then there looks like a breakthrough have you seen people in meetings who suffer and do every spiritual gymnastic they don't seem to connect then it's like an antenna while they are tuning somehow whether by mistake or by mercy they just hit it suddenly you begin to see that people get blessed and instead of the person to go back and say lord let it not happen again the person laughs and say wow that's a powerful meeting open your eyes open your ears and soon you understand that the lord is here open your eyes open your ears then you'll understand that the lord is here there are some of us who begin to pray and then you find out that you begin to have strange experiences where you can begin to talk about someone and you are not really seeing any vision in the spirit yet you can describe the person with accuracy and detail and his clothes you don't know where you are seeing from you just know that you are talking there is someone wearing a blue dress standing you weave your hair how you are getting it you cannot even understand you are not really seeing any vision people think you are seeing a picture you are this there is an agency in the spirit that cannot be explained in this realm but it's a tool for interaction then you are able to relate with the spiritual atmosphere and then you speak with accuracy and precision organs of expression in the spirit as I'm speaking to you, God is activating these things because He's giving you explanations. Then, at certain times, you're just moving, and these perceptions do you realize?
every single one of us in this place the holy spirit has been communicating to you through this means it's only that we have not been trained to understand that these are the promptings and the communications of the spirit this is the first step into the manifestation of the prophetic that you can understand your organs of interaction in the spirit there are times you sit down and many of us suddenly begin to see flashes of lightning in different colors and you do not realize that what you are attempting to see is a manifestation of angels you just think you are seeing ribbons moving around who told you they are called ribbons they appear and move so fast the bible says he maketh his angels wings he uses the word pneuma wings hallelujah spirit of the lord many times when you're standing and the lord wants to call you to a place where he will reveal secrets to you there are ways he begins to lure you but when your organs of expressions are deadened and they are not trained to understand that the lord is beckoning on you the man called bishop oyedeko said he was moving and the lord told him go to a solitary place i want to speak to you how many of us have missed out on secrets that would have been communicated unto us if we only understood that these operations of the spirit were languages paul said there are voices we have been trained you see in this realm if, if you do not rise above this realm you will try to relate with the spirit using your knowledge of this realm there are more organs of interaction in the spirit than we have in this realm if you can believe that that's the first step to begin to walk with the spirit the concept of hearing God and walking and flowing with the spirit have never been a difficult phenomenon. We are just, we just, we, we have not been trained to understand. I've said it here. Let me tell you something about the voice of God. Now I'm going to shock many of you. Do you realize that God does not speak what you hear that you think is his English? It's not English. The language of God is light. Are you listening to me? strong presence in this place the language of god is light i've explained this but let me show you i'll prove it to you scientifically if you want to send a text message from your phone to this person's phone what happens you type the message when you send it it goes as what help me please it goes as what do you see it do you realize that the text you send flows from the realm of the spirit to get to the recipient we live in the spirit every day and we call it science the moment is in the spirit no time and no distance that's why i can get to london in that instance are you following me you can stay and send press and send instantly someone at the north pole will receive an alert let me tell you something follow me once it's in the realm of the spirit time and distance does not exist but watch this when it gets to the person's phone when it gets to the person's phone listen the phone has been configured to interpret and convert what that light is saying into a language that you can understand that's why russians use handset indonesians use handset are you following me now so when how many of you have received text messages and you just saw jugular jugular nonsense there because your phone cannot interpret maybe it's an mms but your phone has not been configured to interpret mms message and so the the words in your phone will try to downgrade what that light is trying to say as best as it can and then you begin to see arrows and star it's attempting to tell you there is a message upgrade your phone and then you will see it perception in the spirit for many times when he beckons on us and he's speaking the insufficiency of the word of god frustrates the manifestation of his voice in your spirit man and then you are not able to understand what he's saying that's why people receive half revelations part revelations and sometimes god steps in by his mercy to give you pictures and give you words just a phrase of a song or use the face of somebody that can be a symbol of what he's trying to say that your spirit cannot receive spiritual man able to interact with the realm of the spirit when you understand spiritual perception it will be your key to walking away from danger 
many people suffer because they are trying to heal the sick the bible says that paul was preaching he didn't just blindly get up and say i have faith i'm a man of god he was waiting for these promptings of the spirit that's why sometimes you see us just worship i say what are these people doing we are waiting there is a language we don't just function foolishly and then suddenly you hear us say cancer cancer why not headache cancer because over time when you stay with the spirit he trains you as you build yourself in the place of prayer this is one of the things that happens your organs of expression there is stamina in your spirit your ability to understand and interpret the language of the spirit and then every time he gives you those promptings again then you know that this is what the spirit is saying how can you walk when you don't know the way of the wind i know you've had this song just listen to me how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly like the eagles when you don't know the wind his power at work in you is changing everything in obedience there are many of us who were told days before the armed robbers came to your house you knew it the holy spirit kept beckoning on you but because we are not able to understand the promptings of the spirit there are many times you sit down in the car to go to go somewhere and the holy spirit begins to communicate to you when you understand this you will reign in this life are you getting blessed tonight you better be interested in what i'm saying so when you pray there is a rising your spirit is rising in science when when water gains energy what happens it changes state from ice to liquid to vapor that's what happens to your spirit man when you gain energy there, there comes a change of state and you keep rising to the plain and the mountain of god and when you allow the holy spirit to train you sufficiently you see a list of job offers and instantly you know which one to go to because every time you lay your hands to pray he begins to lead you friends i hope you know that this is what they do to occultic people the moment you are initiated he's not initiated i'm using him as an example the moment you are initiated what happens they come to you in the night they are attempting to activate your organs of expression in the spirit and they begin to show you things that you have never seen suddenly you see a lizard then you see a picture you think is a dream and it disappears and suddenly you see some people bring you and then for many people they say a a matured man like this <laughs> they say traveling in what granite seed or something now they are frustrating science to make the spirit alive in you that cannot be understood scientifically after a while you conceive it as a reality and you begin to walk in that light the grandmother in your village sits down and just perceives that your brother is going to excel and through that perception they use incantation to confirm it and sits down there with her old stick and shouts and says come back to the village and die and she goes to bed and the senseless carnal minded businessman is meandering the streets of london and for reasons you cannot account for you will take a flight and come back and then you come and die in the village we are not just raising men of understanding but men of power let me tell you some of you will rise tonight with an anger because suddenly you will see that so this has been the promptings of the spirit sometimes when you're sleeping immediately your your peace is taken away and it says get up many of you are waiting for get up g-e-t-i-t -E wait there until your destiny catches fire And you get up and then you pray for five minutes and convince yourself you are done you pray till the promptings change and sometimes it will take days for it to change are you following me now thank you jesus 
there are times that suddenly for no reason you find the holy spirit calling you and he says three days i want you to pray at least three to four hours three days he's pressing up your spirit for something to come and then when you share it your spirit is alive you who would have fallen on this news you stand and you say no i know god is alive stamina has been built because of the ability to perceive spiritual things hallelujah paul was preaching and while he was preaching his organs of expression in the spirit his sense of perception sight and sound by reason of praying in the spirit have been activated and he kept looking at that man waiting to perceive the moment he perceived it said does it stand up and he arose god's generals it was said that there was one of them who had an angel who would always come and stand and if that angel didn't come he will never do anything he would just be worshiping and the people say this guy don't waste our time he says i cannot do anything according to the training that was given to me it was said to me that when i see this angel it may not be so for you see be careful when you read books because many people take their spiritual experiences and build doctrines out of it you are not permitted to build a doctrine out of your experience you can share it to guide people but the word of god is the more sure word of prophecy so i can share with you how i flow in the spirit i can share with you how i know that this is what god is saying i should do i can show it i can you see that the prophets in the bible operated at different levels and frequencies of perception if he care would be caught up in the spirit then he saw the bones and instantly he knew they were very dry let it cover all the earth let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Hallelujah. Interactions of the Spirit. Your ability to perceive realities in the spirit when your organs of expression in the spirit are trained let me tell you something you will command power in this realm so if you are not a man and a woman of prayer prayer is not an option are you listening to me it's not it's not something for men of god if you you want to flow in power no you've got to be men and women who understand how to navigate the path of the spirit there are many times you enter to pray the moment you shut yourself while you're going bah, 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 God say, ah, I didn't bring you here to pray just sit down take your Bible and sit down quietly or for some of you God will say just be walking up and down don't pray just keep moving just stroll and people see you hold your notebook and you're just moving and they say oh god i'm saying you should pray you are eyeing me god is saying just keep flowing and while you're flowing suddenly you begin to sense the changes in the atmosphere of the spirit you cannot explain it in this realm but you know that this is a journey in the spirit you may not understand but you know you know that you are going somewhere you are not just moving left and right you are climbing planes in the spirit when you get to that place where god wants you to get to he will say now son begin to pray and i will show you something suddenly you begin to pray man tabo satire then a vision is open unto you and you will see the room that you were walking to that just looked like you were moving up and down and god begins to communicate to you secrets bible says the secrets of lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants Yahweh Yahweh 
Yahweh, 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 take us to that plane, no oh God. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. 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 When you become a man and a woman of prayer, you begin to perceive. You know in the spirit. You cannot tell how it is done. Suddenly you are praying and you are searching for a scripture and then you just know that it's in Isaiah. How you cannot tell. Sometimes the Holy Spirit tells you, go to Isaiah 6 verse 44. Sometimes he just says, go, just go there. He speaks to you because he's talking to your spirit man. It's your mind that does not know where that scripture is. Your spirit knows. And when you allow your spirit, you will turn to that exact verse. I was searching for this scripture. While I was, I was just preparing and searching for the scripture, the Lord said, okay, let's do a quick training. Let your spirit man take place. I will not tell you the scripture. Don't search for it. Let your spirit man find expression. Suddenly, I don't know how I knew it. I just went straight. Acts chapter 14. And there it was. There are times that people come to cover my eyes. And I tell them, don't tell me who you are. I use every opportunity to train my ability to perceive things in the spirit. There are times that you begin to pray. And when the host of heaven comes, you know you know how many of you have just sat down and then your friend wants to come and cover your eyes and then you just turn who told you he was coming your spirit man your spirit man your spirit man you are in the room and suddenly you are moving and you just know i'm not alone and then you sense when you train yourself you can know that oh angels are in this room then you suddenly know that no there is a presence these are not angels these are not angels they are beings in this room but they are not angels as you walk around your house you perceive their presence everywhere and you know Kenneth E. Hagin walked in this dimension of perception to a point that he would see the angels he knew them by name and when they showed up in his meeting he would greet them and say how are you can you imagine You just drop in your house as soon as you lift your hands to knock the door you know that darkness is over this territory and suddenly you look and you tell your father and you tell your friends there's no time to greet you i'll greet you after three days there is darkness they say what do you mean darkness we're enjoying seriously in fact we just got a breakthrough you say that's what you are you are judging as a carnal man i'm speaking to you from the plane of the spirit i do not see light you are celebrating light but what i perceive is darkness let us get to the place of prayer and as you begin to pray in the spirit these mysteries are unveiled to you many of us judge things sometimes satan deceives you and then when you see a breakthrough you are smiling in the physical realm well god how many of you have gotten certain blessings but there's no rest over that blessing yet it's not like you know it's god but it looks like no 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 this this is not all the story yet something while you want to relax god says this is not the time to sit down you just sense it many foolish people that's the time we sit down and cross our leg when a ministry is expanding and people are coming my soul find rest but a man who stays upon the mountain judges from that perspective and he looks at that plane and he knows that although this is it this is what god wants to do Yahweh 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 Teach us your ways oh God Teach us your ways oh God Yahweh. 
Hallelujah. This is how I receive some of the songs that we share here. I've told you again and again that most of the songs I bring are not composed. As I allow my spirit man to interact with the realm of the spirit, suddenly I begin to hear voices. That's how the song Adonai came. It was a song that I heard the angels singing. Adonai Lamb of God That's why it comes with a touch of eternity. You are worthy Worthy of my praise King of kings Lord of lords Let your kingdom reign in my heart let your kingdom reign in my I had the angel sing this song. Adonai. Sing Adonai. Kingdom reign. I'm not a superstar. These are realities in the spirit. They are for your reach. When I hear the sound of angelic choir, I don't just hear tenor, alt alto, and soprano. They are a million parts combined together. And that's why, hear me, when the music directors function under the anointing they begin to put in the parts that can attempt to synchronize the, have you ever worshiped god and you got to a point where you know you are rising in that worship that's why when you start worshiping god, worshiping god any mistake will bring you back to that realm that's why we press for perfection because when you begin to worship suddenly from the corridors of heaven the saints begin to join in that worship and there is a union of the families in heaven and the earth abraham isaac jacob the saints they join us in that worship and there is a strong presence there are some songs that seem to be timeless they carry certain anointings and certain presence you sing them again sometimes you don't know all the song but that part you know is able to help you relate with the spirit when god wants to take you through certain planes what happens is that he shows you hear me he shows you some songs and those songs are able to help you they are vehicles of transportation they are not a means for special number every that's why you see us sing certain songs and we keep repeating them Muimaka, Muimaka. Muimaka sujada naimaka ni naimaka naimaka sujada ni naimaka 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 sujada naimaka ni naimaka ni naimaka sujada naimaka naimaka While you are singing you do not realize that you are climbing a ladder in the spirit your abilities increase that's why sometimes you see that the worshipers don't change songs they keep repeating they keep repeating your flesh may just be singing and is weak but God is saying keep singing you are climbing the more you sing you are exposed to a greater dimension of his light and power Naimaka Sujada Nina Himaka Nina Himaka Nina Himaka Sujada Nina Himaka Nina Himaka Nina Himaka Sujada Nina Himaka Nina Himaka Nina Himaka Lord I give you I give you I give you the 
highest praise. I give you, I give you, I give you. Hallelujah. Spiritual perception. The ability to know, to recognize, and to align with the operation of the realm of the spirit. The voice of the spirit, his promptings, his dealings, his leading. As you train your spirit man in the place of prayer you rise to that plane in the spirit where these operations are no longer foreign to you so you exist both as a physical homo sapien and as a spiritual man there are some of us that when you begin to pray the moment you are praying in the spirit suddenly a river of joy breaks open in your spirit in the darkest of times physically suddenly the holy spirit tells you start singing a song of thanksgiving start giving thanks and you say lord for what i just had a report he says see i'm showing you what is happening in the heavens and you begin to rejoice and people say you are mad you say no i'm not mad i'm only alive in the spirit and you begin to give him praise you give him praise you worship and you are sweating you are not praying you lock yourself you just rejoice again and again and you rejoice for the bible says with joy shall you draw out of the wells in the realm of the spirit joy is a fetter it's not just a phenomenon every time there is heaviness god brings a garment and he calls it praise when the psalm was caught up, he saw that praise is not just a phenomenon. I saw in the realm of the spirit that the moment they begin to make music, these sounds you are hearing, they are living things in the spirit. They are living things. Let me show you a scripture. Psalms 49. I want to show you a powerful scripture and you understand why we play music as we sing. Psalms 49. Soon going to rise up and pray. I give you the highest, highest praise. To I give you the loudest, loudest praise. To I live my holy hand. I give you, I give you, I give you the highest praise. I give you, Shela Mada Masia. I give you the highest praise. Naimata, Ninaimata, Ninaimata, Sujada, Naimata, Ninaimata. I need you to know hear me you hear what they are playing these are chords in the spirit they speak languages are you listening to me so when a spirit filled keyboard is sits he begins to play by the spirit every key from do re mi fa so all of them are languages in the spirit your ability to combine the chords there is a language he speaks let me show you psalms 49 verse 3 it says my mouth shall speak of wisdom and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding verse 4 i will incline my ear to a parable i will open up my dark sayings upon the harp upon the harp there's something i will do to your spirit that every time i hear the harp play it will position your spirit in a way that you begin to unveil dark sins. Bible says, For they know not, neither do they understand. They grow up in darkness, and so the earth is out of course. Have I not said that you are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High? 
it takes the understanding on how to navigate the paths and the planes of the spirit this is what gives victory this is the tool you need if you can get this and you can catch this you can be a victor in this life no matter what happens you will emerge victorious for you will know when there is victory in the spirit you will know when there is a cause for travail when you do not understand the things that are happening around you you will switch to the frequency of the spirit for explanation what meaneth these things oh lord and he begins to speak unto your spirit man now as we examine this series on prayer i want you to pray with understanding many people pray foolishly that's why we do not reap the benefits of prayer prayer is not just a sign of spirituality there's more to that god cannot be joking with you he's not playing games he's not playing pranks hallelujah perception in the spirit we live in a day and age where many people just sit down and evil comes to sweep them with no knowledge whatsoever not with the spiritual man not with the spiritual man for every time you reign from the heavens and there is a perception if it is true that you are seated with christ it must translate just from confession to becoming your reality and it's our job in this place to build men and women who are spiritual you don't get spiritual because of ministry when we begin to get spiritual the next thing we begin to envision pulpit no is the secret for life and in the next few minutes the spirit of prayer will fall upon us let me tell you something i need you to pray in these weeks that we're entering into is a time of prayer there's no room for laziness except you're not interested in growth want your spirit man to come alive you're not filled with the holy ghost right here right now there's no time to do the teaching for you but you will receive there is enough power to get you started we'll explain it later hallelujah so we are going to pray rise up on your feet say quicken us and we shall call upon your name we need a generation of power men who have power with god the miraculous and the supernatural realm was never designed to be for preachers we will cheat you and will be wicked people if all we are interested in is being superstars on stage as you pray hear me for many of you there will be an activation an activation insight in the spirit insight in the spirit sound people i want you to follow me please with the clash of the cymbal and every spiritual mystery go ahead and pray if your seat is inconveniencing you push it away for the next 15 minutes in the spirit
Generals Commanding power In the heavens Power In the spirit That you will be An inferno of fire That cannot be touched Not by sickness Not by failure that you will know the promptings of the spirit and how to navigate the planes and the parts of the spirit. Let the least among us be a person of power. Power in the heavens. Where signs and wonders become our natural life. Where signs and wonders. Come on, pray. That you be men of faith. When you pray, you will have faith. When you pray, Faith will arise. Building up yourselves on your most holy faith. Building up yourselves on your most holy faith. Building up yourselves. The ability to trust God. The capacity to believe. Brother, in the place of prayer. The capacity to see the unseen. To share the unheard. The capacity. To believe God, the capacity to rise above your senses. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hear me. Hallelujah. Listen, friends. Hear me. This is how spiritual men are groomed and trained. This is how men become signs. They don't just manifest signs. They become it. This is how men become men of faith that they can believe impossible things when you become a man of prayer doubt dies the capacity to believe God you flee from danger your eyes are opened seeing is not a luxury of prophets is the heritage of the sons sharing is not the luxury of anointed people for when you pray the veil is taken from your eyes hallelujah friends listen to me in these next three weeks I trust that God will enlarge our capacity you will walk in unusual faith one of the proof of a man of prayer is faith you can never truly pray 
with understanding without being a man of faith no because when you pray you will hear and with that hearing faith will come the rhema of god puts faith in your spirit hallelujah I glorify your name in all the earth, in all the earth. Even as we round up, let's give him praise. I glorify your name in all the earth, in all the earth. I magnify your name. I magnify your name. Yes, Lord. In all the earth. Hey. In all the earth. I glorify your name. I glorify your name. In all the earth. In all the earth. we truly we truly desire you we are tired of church we are tired of a few superstars called men of God standing on stage we are tired of apostles and prophets making show on stage we are interested in raising men of power and oh God tonight we repent of religion and we pray that you call us to a place of power hallelujah listen to me hear me hear me you will go back home with the spirit of prayer hallelujah these three weeks is a time of prayer individual prayer don't just get used to corporate prayer partner you must learn to know the secret place alone he not them he that dwells there are languages God will show you and speak to you in the secret place. Cultivate a personal time. Now is not the time to roam around. You don't generate power like that. You don't sow your way into power. You build your way. Hallelujah. For many of us as you begin to pray, you will come up with ideas that will end poverty in your life and your family forever no it's not it's not a prophecy that's a problem with church there are some things that are not gotten by receiving they are gotten as a reward for building yourself in obedience where that scripture will be fulfilled that he makes his angel spirits and his ministers flames i want you to be such a flame of fire that when you enter your room any man that does not love god you don't need to drive and cast your presence commands power i can never run away from a witch over my dead body and all of this i i i, I don't even know anything about witches and wizards i don't i don't it's not that i'm not i'm careless the most important thing i need to know about them i already know that I have victory over them. Do you realize that the success of these meetings are riding on the wings of prevailing prayer? Not carelessness and wearing suit and crossing our legs. It's not the time. It's a time for business. It's a time to raise others. I saw one of our ladies. We were in Mina. We just came in today. We went to minister. And I saw her glad to know that we have built her to become a woman of power right now for reasons they cannot explain God just promoted her and she's now the secretary to the NYSC coordinator for no reason when you command power with God you will flow in this realm friends don't let anybody deceive you you need to build capacity in the spirit it's the secret for a victorious life for the work that God is committing unto you is great. And you need great energy. 
the bible says if you turn aside in the day of battle your strength is small when you pray in the spirit you can stand criticism you can stand pressure when you give in too easily you are not a strong man in the spirit when you give in too easily trying to explain to everybody ah i meant this uh -uh. build capacity and your father looks at you and says you're a failure just smile there's there's no point going back to cast any devil where we become strong men in the spirit one day that cry will now be the comforters because of the strength that you have god will show you things and you will save people from catastrophes god will take your eyes and show you the treasures in darkness and the hidden riches that are in secret places and then with the spirit you will do business in the deep waters you will not need to go down to egypt for help because he will show you the treasures that are in the waters help us tonight oh god in the name of the lord jesus help us cause us to be men of power cause us to be men of power now is not the time to build titles now is not the time for ministry now is not the time for E and I. Are you listening to me? Now is the time for business. The business of building people. I don't know where I'll see some of you tomorrow. But one thing I know is that within the time that we have, we will do the job that God commits to us. So that when you become an overseer in your ministry, when you become a leader, we are certain that an ambassador is there for you. Hallelujah. And as surely as the Lord lives, he will honor our desires. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the privilege of building ourselves in the spirit. Lord, I pray that we will leave this place with a true spirit of prayer. Prevailing prayer. Prayer that brings results. That we will command results in our lives. Lord, as we pray, we open us up let burdens be lifted let mysteries be unfolded and uncovered let the communications of the spirit be effectual in the place of prayer brothers and sisters this is a time of prayer read your book have your lectures but the time that you have invest invest in these three weeks god is going to be putting something in you that will be relevant for your destiny the training of a general is not without tears don't expect me to to massage you i don't want you to be a weak and a beggarly person i want you to be strong and to command power say so they that know their god they shall be strong they are the ones who will do exploits has nothing to do with your age has nothing to do with your gender not everybody will be relevant in the program of god but as many who can pay the price he will conquer death he will stop fearing death mark chapter 1 we'll begin to read from verse 32 mark chapter 1 god is still in the business of miracles of signs of wonders of transformation turning lives around and causing people to experience the reality of the kingdom and at even that's evening now when the sun did set they brought unto him all that were diseased and them that were possessed noticed that they always seem to be in the same group possessed lunatics diseased and those with all kinds of infirmity and the bible says and all the city was gathered together at the door 34 and he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him one last scripture and then i'll teach a little and we begin to pray matthew chapter 10 this is jesus commissioning 
the twelve test running the things that he had taught them we're reading from verse 7 and 8 as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand and then heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise the dead cast out devils freely ye have received freely give so there is a way you can give the the manifestation of the power and the glory of god is also a kind of giving that you can step into people's situations and turn everything around by the power of the holy spirit look how authoritative jesus was when he sent them it was not a suggestion it didn't seem like something they were to try and bring back a result he said as you go go and do this go and do that but for us largely in the church today these realities are just bible stories are we together now and we just hope that they work when we gather like this we can only hope the sick are healed we can only hope the oppressed are delivered but there seem to be a level of certainty certainty we need a restoration of genuine and notable miracle signs and wonders in the church they have to be genuine they have to be notable and consistent if we want to see dimensions of god's glory made manifest and if we want to see our communities and our territories call upon the name of the lord again then please listen to me much more than oratory much more than good english much more than good speaking we need a restoration of the power of god provable the ability of the spirit that can cause men to return back with testimonies testimonies in scripture have always encouraged the faith of people listen let me tell you this miracles in themselves listen please miracles in themselves are not enough to convert a man it is the holy spirit let, let me balance it right now because there were people who attended the crusades of jesus yet they ran away from him until the holy ghost came upon the church so that an individual in fact there were scribes and pharisees who were in almost every meeting yet they never believed jesus so miracles in themselves are not the true basis for conviction and conversion that is the ministry of the holy spirit everybody say the holy spirit the bible says that when he the spirit of truth is come listen it says he will guide you into all truth he will convict reproof now the world of sin of righteousness and of judgment however miracles were designed by god to be a support structure that consolidates on what the holy spirit is doing to aid conviction that will ultimately lead to conversion I believe in miracles I truly do now I've had a lot of thoughts I'm trying to break some of the things that stop us from receiving and um, one of it is the fact that Christians were not designed to be the ones chasing miracles I agree I agree that there is a more superior way of living where we live by the principles of the kingdom but let me admit to you that the need for the miraculous will remain in the church and even in the midst of believers for two reasons number one the reality of our humanity the fact that the human nature is still in us there will always be a need for the power of God to intervene once and again please listen to what I'm saying it's very very important Psalm 27 verse 13 and 14 whilst it is true that the most excellent way is to live by the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom that immunes you from the need to have god crash land certain things in your life and produce certain results the principles of the kingdom were designed to bring predictability to our lives a miracle is needed because a law had been violated 
and God's love and mercy needs to come in to bridge that default are we together now however because of the reality of our human nature even though we are still stepping experientially into the image and the character of the Christ here and there we will find ourselves missing out on the full standard of God's expectation as required to walk in total victory hence the need for the miraculous where is a doctor here these guys are not here okay let's uh, okay please stand up Dave watch this Dave is a doctor and I want you to reason with me for a moment did you know that the best way to enjoy your life is not to go to the hospital every day are we together now you should get to a point where you eat healthy you are healthy and then you live right but there are many factors here and there although you are aware of the fact that eating healthy and living right is the more excellent way every once and again you will catch yourself needing this man now if the doctors decide to close the hospital just because there is a more excellent way it means that on your journey to becoming that more excellent way you will not even live to re to, to, to lift um, to reach that level you will die and just finish up so doctor is a sign and a symbol of God's mercy that while there is a higher standard for you his mercy is still trailing you so that if and when you need the doctor he can still come are we together please sit down the miraculous is still important even for believers there are times while you are learning the principle for instance of wealth and abundance because it takes a while to be established to understand that principle what happens to your rent today tomorrow you will have enough to feed nations but today there is a concern so he said give us this day lord you can give us while we learn to access that supply we can cry that you give us today very important the human nature of men believers and unbelievers matured believers and those who are just starting alike will at one point or the other because of the reality of their humanity need the intervention of god's power the psalmist said i had fainted unless i had believed to see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living i had fainted that means that i would have been a forgone story save for this intervention i had fainted unless i had believed to see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living the second reason why all including believers will need the miraculous hand of god at one point or the other is because of the presence of wicked spirits first john chapter 5 and verse 19 the bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that there is a contention that consistently plagues the believer paul writing and teaching the church in ephesus he taught them how to as we call it to sit in their position that that understanding that they have been seated with christ then he taught them how to walk worthy of their calling but then he also taught them how to stand against the wiles of the enemy the bible says and we know that we are of god and in spite of the fact that we are of god the whole world how many of the world it didn't say africa so whether you go to europe or whether you go to america the caribbeans wherever you are provided you are in this world the bible says it lies in wickedness There are two ways to have your car jammed. You hit somebody or somebody hits you. In any way, the car will pay for it. So we need the miraculous hand of God. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, a number of us are too young to understand the reality of wickedness in this life because we have been shielded by the sacrifices of others. 
whether you sow or not there is a harvest but as as you begin to transit through life you will understand that there is a real warfare that happens in this life warfare for your soul warfare for your children warfare for your finances warfare for your relevance and it takes an understanding that if God be for us hallelujah he says who can be against us reverse the statement if God is not for us who will not be against us that means my security is having the hand of God with me as a man of God the devil will not sit down and allow you to keep winning souls every time you are converting people from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son then he will cross his leg and laugh no every arsenal that can be launched against your church your ministry will come and if you do not understand when to call for help and say Lord I invoke it ah, look the Bible says the body of Moses Michael was carrying the dead body of Moses to heaven and suddenly Satan traps him in the heavenlies and was fighting for the body and he said the Lord rebuke you the Lord I use a power that is greater than you rebuke you even a dead man's body was still useful for Satan not to talk about you who is alive a dead man who does not have a will who does not have emotions but satan said the body can still be relevant a spirit is searching for that body and that spirit will resurrect as moses and deceive people so there was potentials even in a dead body the same way the devil used the face of your mother to press you and now you think it's your mother that is a witch demons are crying and wanting bodies Are you learning something tonight let me tell you my brothers and my sisters I really hate to be the bearer of bad news but I will be lying to you if I tell you that all you see is all there is there is real warfare in this life there is victory assured there can be victory established but it does not negate the fact that there is warfare when your children leave your house and go to school for that five six hours there is more warfare than you know are we together you release them from your house they come back asking you questions you are even afraid to answer there's warfare you think the devil will sit down and allow you to be the first person in your family to build a house who do you think you are your father tried to rise and that altar crushed him to pieces and here you come boasting that i am in christ if you don't understand how to tap into the help of god that same hand will crush you to pieces this is where many believers continue to deceive themselves and mock themselves Jesus himself needed the father he said father don't forsake me this is not the right time to forsake me Eloi Eloi Lamak Sabachthani the world needed help from heaven the world was unfruitful until he was assisted by the Holy Spirit apostle my church is not growing I'm a faithful man of God I love the Lord I see visions I can pray for the sick members are not coming because growth is warfare people are not stupid to just leave their homes and come and stand to hear you do you know the amount of devils and demons that stop you from coming here today do you know the amount of excuses the devil orchestrated Satan is desperate for your downfall if you ever found yourself here is a sign that your miracle has started I'm telling you this we are not alone in this world get used to it there are real spirits not only angels not only the Holy Spirit there is an old story here there are spirits older than everyone and they have not been prohibited from moving to and fro 
they can still move and let me tell you sooner or later they will land around the vicinity of your family and the, the bible says the whole world lies in not badness wickedness many of us today are seated here right now in the next few minutes when we begin to pray that is when you will wonder so this thing in my life i thought was a coincidence is a pre-programming of wickedness let me tell you this i have seen the wickedness of men and spirits too many times in my little life i have looked at destinies that i know this person should not be here But tonight in the name of jesus the hand of god will come upon us and that everything that does not name the name of christ must give way what about your finances you thought it's just about business it is warfare i've taught you this the devil when you have vowed before god that lord if you bless me your kingdom will be advanced and the devil had that prayer i hope you know when you praise not only god that hears when you pray the realm of the spirit hears your prayer that's why he says this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare as i was prophesying to you the devil had it he will not keep quiet get up and wore a good warfare i thought the prophecy should work itself he said wore a good warfare otherwise you will see it in the realm of the spirit but it will never manifest many believers are ignorant of this one thing there are many families sitting down right now looking at me and you do not know that if you do not rise i got several text messages from people apostle this is wrong with me i, I just replied them and said come for miracle service i i don't know how i'm going to start giving you this explanation you will learn after you are touched if i allow you to learn you may die and never have the opportunity to hear the message it is something that needs the power of god first you will grow spiritually but in the interim let's deal with the devil for you so that by the time he is dealt with you can have the time to grow i was ministering yesterday and a precious lady that god touched i mean lumps all over her can you imagine that kind of wickedness I think one of them said also that she was operated and then it returned again that means it's a living thing it's only living things that can move they can go and come dead things lie down there they removed it and it left where they threw it and came back is that a dead thing now i hear the chains falling listen when god gives you 10 naira and it runs away from you don't you think something is driving it away please listen to what i'm telling you when somebody promises that sam i will bless you and all of a sudden because he promised to bless you he starts going down he intended to bless you have you seen people like that they say i'm waiting for salary to bless you the moment they say i want to bless you that money will never come there's something wrong god gave us intelligence we are not stupid people but let me tell you my brothers and sisters for as long as you justify darkness you are not ready for victory you must get angry and say no way lord i have come like jacob i will not let you go some of you travel from far some of you are connecting from different parts of the world please refuse don't come and play games lord there must be an evidence there must be an evidence you get pregnant as a christian as a tongue-talking christian you go to bed and hear these wicked spirits they come to molest you and in two three months you've lost the child the doctors will do their best to support you but doctors cannot treat spirits it takes the power of god it says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves there are cases that can never be diagnosed medically machines don't diagnose spirits i heard the testimony of a woman genuine testimony her husband had died 
died and gone to be with the Lord and a spirit came to her in the dream and tried to molest her and within two three months she, she was pregnant she noticed she was pregnant from the realm of the spirit with a physical child I don't know who made us so carnal that we think we will casually please be careful you watch TV and people trivialize the reality of the realm of the spirit if you are a pastor here listen to me end time ministry is real warfare you are not going to stand and cross your leg and my church should keep growing just because you are reading a novel about church growth no it takes you subduing the powers that be is God speaking to someone tonight fathers here you need to stand up and take charge every father is a priest you are already ordained as a father as a priest over your home and you are not going to watch darkness come and sit down and say it does not matter that's why men who are not born again and serious with God is a serious problem you open your shop to sell and there is a pungency there is a sense of repulsion you have everything that should be bought and people leave your shop and go somewhere to queue no we wrestle not against flesh and blood please listen to me but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and the spiritual wickedness they don't reside in hell they are in the heavenlies I counseled a man of God I think it was two three years ago the devil I don't know the devil uses his face to oppress his members like you have a church now and then you will see my face I will come with an axe in a dream or something and oppress you will you attend that church and everybody started saying the man is a fake man truly I don't know anything about him but when I got to meet him, he said, Apostle, what is this? He said, I got born again in the present. I have a history. What is this thing? Everybody is saying I'm a fake man of God. I went to collect power that they see me in dreams. I said, that's it. The enemy has done this. The devil would divide best friends by using the face of a best friend to oppress someone. Then lead that best friend to a, a prophet who may not be fake, but is not spiritually accurate. And he will say, your friend is jealous and wants to kill you. Nonsense! Listen to me. These spirits are actors. They can join you together. They look for where trouble is and guide you. Like the Holy Spirit guides you in all truth. The devil can guide you in all trouble police is about to arrest a thief you, you find out that you are you are passionate about leaving home to go there you were minding your business but now you just get somewhere and they arrest all of you it's not normal it's not normal it's not normal we need miracles so we need real divine interventions we need the hand of God to come upon our lives we need the grace of God you are in your office with all kinds of people listen one of the things we have to learn is that not everybody is born again I think we are used to the fact that we are all born again around a circle so because of that you believe that the same way in your office everyone is born again let me tell you there are people who are fraternized with darkness to a realm and a level that except you are powerful indeed they will not only destroy you they will destroy you slowly hallelujah I think he was here I don't know which month I hope maybe the family may even be here they brought for me a medical student the final year last session the lady just became mad is it because of reading is she the first to go to school it's a spirit a woman labors on her daughter my brothers and my sisters and just when this woman is about to reap the reward of her labor have you not heard of people who graduated on their way going back home to celebrate a bike comes out from nowhere there is no bike that comes out from nowhere thou shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day not the noisome pestilence well you can choose to believe what i'm telling you or you can choose to allow time proof to you 
that this life does not joke if jesus himself got up early in the morning to pray and put everything in order he says knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth thereof I've shared with you how many times I'm, I want to take a trip and somebody, genuine prophet, genuine, some of them are my friends and send me a text and say, Apostle, be careful. I saw an accident. I saw this. That is the plan of the devil. But the ability to know his plan and conquer it is where victory comes from. Listen to me. It is selfish to forget about your family and forget the let me tell you this you know esther was going to make a mistake the same mistake of vashti esther was about to make it she was about to forget her people and the purpose for which she went to the palace and mordecai said don't think that when they are done with us you will be spared sometimes when the devil wants to destroy you he will leave the most powerful person to continue while he destroys every other person do you know that their going down will affect you spiritually Tonight we came for serious business. I vowed a vow that I'm not going to waste the time of any of God's people. No. This, this, this ministry is not a museum. This is the place where we dislodge darkness. You, you have to return with a testimony. A woman called me one time she had this son whether he joined friends or so and went somewhere I don't know what he went to go and do this young boy and maybe about 10 or 11 started hearing voices physical voices like word of knowledge sometimes they can tell him kill yourself or pour hot water you know you you know that is of the devil when the instruction does not carry the life of God God will never ask you to pour hot water on your body how does it glorify Jesus the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And this boy continued to do all these kinds of things. And I told her, I said, Mama, thank God you brought this boy. This boy would die for nothing one day. Hell is rearming itself to make sure there is an onslaught, an assault against the body of Christ. And many times we are just crossing our legs. Listen, I need you to know, I've taught you about warfare. We teach warfare correctly. We are not people who fight from a standpoint of foolishness. We are standing from a standpoint of victory. But that establishment, you must do it. Otherwise, victory will not be automatic. Hebrews chapter 2, it says, But we do not yet see all things under his feet. Please, let me say this respectfully. Be careful who you listen to. And be careful the content of the spiritual information you are giving. Just because people are sincere may not mean their communications are balanced and accurate. Listen to what I'm telling you. Many people have become casualties of imbalanced spiritual communications. Jesus told us everywhere in his crusade, demons came. They were not afraid of Jesus' own crusade. Demons, they followed people. They didn't wait outside and enter later on. They came. Imagine Jesus in a crusade. Praise the Lord. The people shouted hallelujah and the demons were still in them. And they did not go. When the world is not engaged, it does not have any power to do anything. A spirit can sit down. The same way some of you are sitting quietly now. As sincere and innocent as you are. In the next few minutes, you'll be surprised what will be happening in your own life. And then you will see doors that have been closed opening like this. Then you will know that these doors were not closed by mistake and will not be opened by mistake. Everything good comes to everybody except you. The moment is your turn, something terrible happens. A gentleman just sees you and says, beautiful lady, can I go and see your parents? And that's the end of it. His business goes down, his life goes down, everything crashes until he leaves you, then he goes back up. Do you believe?
believe what I'm teaching you? So while it is true that it's the Holy Spirit that ultimately creates conviction, the manifestation of the miraculous in our lives and in the church. You know, when I came down, you need to see the multitudes of people outside. There are people sitting on the soccer way here. My brothers and my sisters, listen, you went to school. Do you think human beings are stupid? Do you think someone will transport himself from another nation or another state? Some of you have not eaten since you came. You came straight to sit down. Is God so wicked to sit down and allow you carry your trouble and go back? Oh, not Koinonia. I welcome you to a place where God has given us the keys to deal with everything that is not of God. I saw so many people standing outside the overflow by the roadside and compassion just gripped my heart. I said, imagine if I were one of these people and they were happily standing. They were not complaining. They just knew that if I may but touch the hem of his garment. My brothers and my sisters, let me tell you, forgive me if it sounds proud, but God has given us something. Let me tell you sincerely. We, we make bold and we ask the world to come and receive because he has given us something. I told you last week, you only knock a door that you don't have the key. When you have a key, you, don't, you stop knocking, you open. That's the same way your destiny will be opened. The Lord declared prophetically that this is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. So in a meeting like this, if I were you, my heart is stayed on that word. Listen, let me tell you. Please listen. You see me teaching passionately, we are going to pray. When I teach like this, huh, I don't teach as a preacher. I come with my heart full of a burden. Are you getting what I'm saying? I come sincerely with my heart full of a burden because I love God, but I love his people too. My greatest satisfaction is not my personal progress. It's seeing the hand of God made manifest in your life. When instructions are given, when these spiritual things are given, you must open your heart to believe them. You see, the, the gospel works with the simplicity of childlike faith. Sometimes many of us carry this trado African pride and that's what stops us from receiving. God wants to step in and touch you and you are wondering, will God really touch me? You know my peculiar problem. You know the name. Abba, are you the first to be in trouble? God knows how to deliver the righteous from trouble. Let me tell you this. I don't care what the situation is, but I want us to agree that this God of heaven, uh, the king of the universe, that he will arise for you tonight. You see, let me tell you this. My prayer this year, when I was fasting and praying this year, I prayed a prayer. I said, Lord, some people don't know what a testimony is. Give them one. They only know how other people's testimonies. The Lord did this for this, but they have never had a testimony themselves. The day you have a real testimony yourself, it will humble you. You wouldn't know whether to stand or to kneel down. That's what I'm praying for you for today. A testimony. testimony when the hand of God comes in a meeting and upon a man you see let me tell you this the supernatural is not just falling down and roll you can fall down and roll from left to right and stand up and go back and not testify the proof that God came is the testimony that follows the testimony the testimony of Jesus the testimony of Jesus apostle i came here barren march miracle service by april miracle service i'm one month pregnant that's a testimony listen come david down when the devil oppresses your life destroys everything about you he uses men as a canvas to write a letter to god that your dominion and your royalty is still being contested with oppression is a letter sent through men to God the highest of God's creation 
the devil rides upon your life i will destroy the family and i will make sure everyone begs like you send a um a chat send and then a miracle is god's reply that god rides through you and says in spite of this i am still on the throne it's true I believe in miracles I honestly and truthfully believe in miracles I believe in principles I believe in mysteries but I believe in divine intervention my brothers and my sisters God can shorten a man's journey what that is the excellency of his mercy listen God is a God of process I agree listen carefully God is a God of principles I agree he will not excuse laziness and he will not excuse spiritual laxity but let me tell you when blind Bartimeo said thou son of David have mercy on me the mercy of God can shorten the journey of a man if you get born again at age 40 do you know how long it takes to know God genuinely know God you don't read your Bible in two months and know God but there's something the Spirit of God can do and give you a solid encounter that in six months you have caught up with the spiritual level of more than five years how about restoration your parents started building from 1999 till today it has stopped at Lintel level right there you went to school and said i'm going to pay it and finish everything the day you said you pay it you almost died i made a vow with my life that i would believe this word and i will engage it life is too risky to be careless with spiritual laws engage it don't wait until the devil kills your life and your children before you know many believers learn too late let me say this and thank god for his mercy you will receive but do you know there are some of you the lord spoke to you about coming here since last year you've been arguing and giving reasons and excuses your situation would not have been that bad but thank God because although Lazarus was three days dead, Jesus is still the resurrection and the life, not only the healer. When I prayed, I told the Lord, I said, please, Lord, give people a testimony, real testimonies. I was blind. Now I see. God did something in three weeks to my finances. Everybody see what God can do. God transformed my family. God turned me around and did something for me. I don't doubt your love for God, but there must be proofs of that love. There must be proofs of that love. Somebody shout, Lord, give me an evidence. Say, Lord, give me an evidence. I believe in proofs John chapter 4 and verse 48 I'll begin to pray shortly bless you 4 verse 48 he says and Jesus said unto him who was speaking here Jesus except ye see signs and wonders ye will not believe how true how true that there are so many people in your family until they see what the power of God does in your life they will never believe your God they think God is one of those things this is a charm this is this this is that and then God is one of them but the day like Dagon all those gods fall before the Almighty God and you return back with a solid evidence let me tell you that day like Pharaoh your loved ones who confess that this your God is God Are we together so i want you to be serious don't sit down and just look around and say ah who is going to receive let me clap for him no it's an insistence it's a desperation except you see miraculous signs you shall not believe luke chapter 5 we'll read the first 11 verses that miracles can help to create solid convictions Charles and Francis Hunter 
powerful evangelists they've gone to be with the lord now they wrote a book that a miracle is worth a thousand words i believe them i believe them the world is tired of our noise and our stories they want to see a demonstration and a manifestation of the reality of the life and the power of God. It says, and it came to pass as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God. He stood by the lake of Gennesaret. Next verse, please. And saw two sheep standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. Uh -huh. We are reading to 11. And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. Next verse. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let your nets for a drought. Five. What happened? Simon answering said, Master, we have toiled all night. In other words, he said, Lord, look, you are not the first to pray for me. A man of God prayed for me in Zaria. Another man prayed in wherever. You know, so God is one of those things. You bless me. Oh, yeah, do it. Master, we have toiled all night. Not for a few hours, all night. Night vigil, looking for a fish. And did not catch even one it says nevertheless at thy word i will let down the net six and when they had this done they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their seven and they beckoned unto their partners which were in the other sheep that they should come and help them and they came and filled both ships miracles can create relationships that you get a miracle and partners that were minding their business you can say come and join me who will not follow someone with results who will not let me tell you the bible talks about a wealthy man and um, how did he put it now a poor man that we even with much entreaties they will run away from him there are many people that come from where we come from and will pass us as if they don't know us because you represent shame and anything that looks like Ichabod, the departure of the glory, men will usually find a way to excuse it from. Ah, but the Bible says you will be called Beulah and Hephzibah, a delight. And they came and filled both ships so that they began to sing. Verse 8 when simon peter saw this look at this this is what miracles do he fell down at jesus's knee saying depart from me i'm a sinful man was a sermon preached a serious miracle happened and that miracle created conviction the same way some of you have been laughing at men of god sincerely and laughing at everything that has to do with the power of god and by the time we'll be sharing the grace tonight you will stand and go back quietly not talking to anybody and say i've seen today i heard with my ears like job but i've seen with my eyes that god is real and his power is real his grace is real nine for he was this is what led to the repentance he was so men can be astonished to repentance that they look at your life and say promise when did this happen when did god lift you was it not last year together we were discussing and you tell him there is a name god is called the, the lifter of men the lifter of men let me tell you my brothers and my sisters run away from anybody who tell you results don't matter they do they do out of the abundance of the evidence of the workings of God in your life, the nations will bow to your God. They will never bow to you just because you are talking. Man of God, hear me. No results, you have MP pews. There's, there's no way around it. There must be an evidence, a serious evidence. When John questioned the messiahship of jesus he didn't answer with a statement he said go and tell john what you have seen the blind see the deaf hear the dead are raised and the gospel is preached to the meek and then he says blessed is he that is not offended so the moment there are no miracles the messiahship of the christ is questioned 
John himself, the one who ordained Jesus, said, go and ask him, is he the Messiah? Miracles confirm that Jesus is the Messiah. God is not a herbalist. He's not a herbalist that is ahead of other herbalists. No. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name. There are people who have names. Politicians have names. Businessmen have names. Captains of industry. Gatekeepers of mountains have names. But my brothers and my sisters, there is a name. It says there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved. And it's in that name tonight that we will wreak havoc in the kingdom of darkness. The miraculous manifests the glory of God and causes people to not only believe God but to trust God. John chapter 2 and verse 11. The first miracle of Jesus, what we call the miracle at the wedding of the Cana of Galilee. He turned water to wine. The Bible says this beginning of miracles, this beginning of not this beginning of sermons, not this beginning of discussions, this beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory and the disciples believed on him. Believed on him. We believe in the God that heals and saves and delivers. That's why we kept the seats for you. That's why we, we knew you would come because the hand of God will bring you and we knew you would not be disappointed brothers and sisters there is a God in heaven God is not a herbalist don't let your pain demean him he is still the king of the universe the whole world lieth in wickedness Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about doing good it takes the manifestation of the power of God to do good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him for God was with him for God was with him We're going to pray. You have to convince yourself. It's going to be a quick walk. And we're going to cry to God and say, Lord, whatever I carried from my house, whatever I carried from my place of work that I've brought before you, it should not return back with me. It should be clear and evident that I met the Lord Jesus Christ. It should be clear and evident right where you are sitting you will soon stand up but right where you are sitting i'd like you to talk to the lord please be serious and be desperate lord i have come to you i've come to you i've come to you i've come to you my life must be changed my finances must be changed my destiny must be changed lord i've come to you as a pastor i've come to you as a prophet as an apostle there has to be greater oil upon my life lord i hear you are a restorer restore me online please make sure you are praying those outside make sure you are praying there is a god that answers prayer when the lord turned again the captivity of zion it says we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord had done great things for them it says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity like the streams of the negev
turn again our captivity. There is a God that can turn around the captivity of men. Pray. Doesn't matter where you are seated, doesn't matter where you are connecting from. The power of God is able to save to the uttermost. Shalabarada Katos. Father, I'm praying. That infirmity in my body must leave this night. That financial situation must die this night. That oppression that has kept my family down. Did the Bible not say this is a victory that overcometh the world, even our faith? A miracle walker, God is a glorious God, God is a miracle walker, God is a glorious shortly and I'll begin to minister by the Spirit your own assignment is to receive you have come let me tell you something there is enough grace to solve whatever challenge it is that has plagued you yours is to believe in the power of God it says if you will believe you will see the glory of God if you will believe you will see the glory of God if you will believe you will see the glory of God. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A lady, the power of God is going to come upon a lady outside. Please carry her and bring her now. There is a lady I'm seeing. I just saw light from in here. Write the power of God upon that lady. Please bring her. Please bring her. And then bring the someone on this road. I'm seeing like, like a smoke just going round. And it's like it's locating someone. The power of God is going to come on someone. Please pick the person and bring the person out. You reign. You reign. Hello.
outside. I cross the hand of captivity over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I cross the hand of captivity over your family in the name of Jesus. I saw a lot of oppression over the life of this lady and in the name of Jesus, we silence the voice of wickedness. We silence the voice of wickedness. Hold on, please. The Lord is showing me something right now. I saw this while I ministered in Abel Kuta. I started seeing snakes on the ground. Snakes on the ground. And that's what I'm seeing right now. And this is, this is the manifestation of a spirit. And there are many families that are under this yoke. Whether you believe it or not, just let me minister to you. I'm declaring right now, the power of God is going to start coming on people that represent those families. Bring them out. You are not shouting anything. You are not saying anything. Bring them out. I'm speaking by the Spirit. The Word of God has been declared. There are families. I'm seeing serpents, snakes, snakes, inside and outside. Bring them. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. And the captives of the mighty by the fire of the Holy Spirit, I judge those spirits wherever you are, represented in anyone here, represented in anyone here, I speak by the hand of God. You reign, you reign, hello, bring them out. I'm still on that case. The power of God is still locating people. Jesus, I'm still praying. We are not doing too many things tonight. We are going to the root of many people's challenges. I'm saying it again. There are still spirits, and I speak by the anointing of the Spirit of God. Wherever they are, overflow one, two, three, across the road. I'm declaring judgment, judgment upon those spirits. The fire of God is coming upon you right now. Whether you are standing for yourself or for your family, bring them out. There is no escape for when his voice comes, they come out from their hiding place. Hallelujah. Now listen, there are people I'm seeing something that looks like a knife being inserted in people and I'm seeing people beginning to run just run when you see people doing that hold them and bring them the Lord is bringing deliverance that one is not speed this one is not the prayer for speed I'm just telling you as the Lord is showing me right now I decree and declare I don't know those that the Lord is cutting them free from every kind of diabolism but I stretch my hands by the Spirit I command judgment on every force judgment on every power in the name of Jesus Christ the hand of God is coming upon them you will begin to see them run around just running is it's, it's not a, a making of their own it's by the power of the Holy Ghost bring them out
an instruction right now. Now we are ready to shout. Listen. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing what looks like a grave. And the Lord is saying he's delivering families from the power of the grave. In the name of Jesus Christ and at the count of three, any family, whether territorially or by whatever connection is tied to the spirit of the grave, I'm declaring at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, the power of God is setting you free. One, two, three. The spirit of the grave, the spirit of the grave, the spirit of the grave, I curse you by the God of heaven. The spirit of the grave, I curse you by the God of heaven. Just follow me this night. Now, I'm praying for all those in front. They came out because the Lord showed something. I declare by the power of God that the legal access of darkness over your life is broken and at the count of three, I speak to these spirits. Release everything you have taken from these families. One, two, go, go, go. Out of their lives, out of their destinies, out of their lives out of their destinies I command a release I command a release I command a release release, release breakthroughs release open doors hallelujah we are going to pray please just pay attention and let God help you. You came here tonight to receive. Listen to me. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people you dare not go to bed. Someone must come in your sleep and try to sleep with you. Or it may happen once in a while. This is a strange oppression of darkness. And I declare, I'm praying right now. I'm seeing fire all over this place because there are many people that is the root cause of many oppressions in your life. At the count of three, you will shout that name again. That is above every other name. And some of you will feel something leaving you immediately. I declare that all these spirits that molest the saints and manipulate dreams and visions. At the count of three, let there be emancipation. One, two, get ready. Three. I command those spirits, go now. Strangers of the night. Strangers of the night. Kebrakatakata. Rekatakata. Help that gentleman. Strangers of the night. Reketepe rekata. Embreketeteketekete. Bring them out. Strangers of the night. I curse you by the God of heaven. Molesting the saints. Planting sicknesses in their bodies. Hello, Kim Madonna. a certain family here 
I'm seeing that they tied the family to the covenant of a stone. Something that has to do with a stone. I don't know what that means and in what tribe. But I'm seeing a covenant that has to do with being tied to a stone. I don't know if it's for protection or for whatever. But in the name of Jesus, I'm praying right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. That any fraternity with the elements of Christ. Let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Help them please. Let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Fraternities with stones and elements and strange fires of the night. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. The mysteries behind the strange hardship of people. The mysteries behind the oppression of people. Oppression of families. Doors. Doors are opening. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. Doors. Doors. Some of you will feel fire on your hands. Fire on your hands. Doors are opening. Two leaf gates. In the spirit. Fire on your hand. You will know by the fire that comes to your hand. I'm seeing fire coming on people's hands. That's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Doors opening. You must testify. Doors opening. Doors opening. Doors opening. Age long doors. Age long doors that have been closed for many years. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord stand just at the back of this young man. Please shift, my friend. These four ladies, one, two, three, four. I'm seeing an anointing on you people. One, two, three, four. I don't know what it is that God is taking out, but I'm seeing like chains being taken from your feet chains being removed in the name of jesus i decree and declare i saw an angel stand there chains being taken up from your feet in the name of jesus christ chains being taken from off your feet listen let me explain something to you this is not just some disorganized jamboree god is turning the destinies of men up. You will see people return with testimonies because there are forces. Emmanuel. I'm hearing the name Emmanuel. Who is that? Emmanuel. Please don't make the place rowdy. Emmanuel. We're going to pray for the sick now. There are four of you I'm seeing here. You have the call of God upon your life. But there are strange altars that are holding you down. In the name of Jesus, I lose you now. I lose you by the force of the spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I lose you. I release your ministry. Hear me. I'm speaking by the Spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I stand by this apostolic anointing. I lose you. If I be called of God, I lose you. I lose you from these forces. I lose you from these yokes. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are men that can be alive, let me tell you, but they are dead in the spirit. Emmanuel, I'm praying. We don't have time to minister individuals, individually, but I'm praying for you. The Lord is breaking delay from four of the families with Emmanuel. No, no, once I mention your case, the power of God is coming upon you. You will know it's your case. I stretch my hands now. Among the Emmanuels, 
and the people delay 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 there is an anointing coming now is crushing that spirit just because i'm praying for emmanuel does not mean it will not come upon you in the name of jesus delay delay god is visiting delay broken by the spirit of god please help them so they don't injure themselves he came to set the captives free to set the captives free hold on this young lady lift your hands this this yes you lift your hands i'm stretching my hands towards you i don't know what it is that i saw but i saw something like smoke the other one the smaller one with white yes i just saw something like smoke coming out of you and the lord is saying this is oppression for many years that has something to do with your abdominal region in the name of jesus christ i declare right now by the power of the holy spirit let that oppression go let it leave you let it go let it leave you right now in the name of jesus there is a woman now i'm going to pray for people generally but i don't know how we'll do this there is a barren woman in overflow three barren woman trusting god for the fruit of the womb please if if you can allow the woman to run and come god is instructing me to lay my hands on her because it's time for her to carry her child overflow three please let her run and come who is maureen maureen i'm hearing a name maureen 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 what is your name lift your hands where are you from shout jesus loud as you can jesus! let the power of witchcraft over your life be broken my dear look at me look at me shout jesus, jesus! i crush that spirit right now in the name of jesus and the man you see in your dream in the name of jesus may you never see that man again please make sure you they don't why is mama here is she maureen this woman i i'll pray for you that woman come madam is that your daughter come madam where are you coming from ma let her come sir where are you coming from i'm from area c area I'm c no, I'm, I'm going to pray for you mama you are a sincere woman but if i did not pray for you huh it's a bike that will kill you from the market in an accident this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing this woman with a leather of potato and a bike man just comes to jam her together with a truck and they just say survive by that the woman is dead i'm not a prophet of doom mama please don't be afraid in the name of jesus christ hold my hands i extend your life by the power of the holy spirit that the plague of death see let me prophesy upon someone here anyone here that the hand of death is upon you to see that you will not see the end of this year i'm praying by the spirit now i'm praying by the spirit and in the name of jesus anyone that the spirit of death is haunting anyone being haunted by the spirit of death i command that it is crushed now in jesus name what is your name my dear maureen come you will look at a beautiful lady like this but in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing a human being but no face no face like this i'm just seeing a blank face like this let me tell you what this means it's a yoke of bad luck 
that people stand and cannot bless you. You have what it takes to be blessed and rewarded. The lady on yellow, lift your hands. There's the call of God upon your life. There is a prophetic grace that is upon you. And the Lord is saying you are stepping into it right now. I stretch my hands to you. Right now in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bring you into that grace. I'm still praying for her. In the name of Jesus I declare. I'm seeing fire coming upon you right now. And that fire will unlock a dimension of the prophetic. In the name of Jesus Christ. bad luck listen i'm going to hold her but a different person is the one that will receive before i pray for her this is just allow me do my my mad thing hold my hand in the name of jesus i'm not praying for her i'm praying for someone now by the spirit of the lord but the lord is saying i should hold her as i pray for the person lord in the name of jesus this yoke of bad luck i'm speaking now please help them this yoke of bad luck by the power of the Holy Spirit where good things don't seem to happen to you in the name of Jesus let it be broken now 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 now let me pray for you be free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I take away this that I'm seeing and in the name of Jesus, you have an identity in the spirit that brings honor, that brings grace and dignity. In Jesus' name I pray. Where are these ones? We're going to pray for the sick. Your name is Maureen. Are you married? You are married? Yes, sir. But you don't have a child? Yes, sir. From Overflow 3? Yes, sir. Where's your husband? not here it's not but well, you're married yes sir. come and stand here and watch the god of wonders i don't know you madam from overflow three you are from overflow three you are trusting god for the fruit of the womb why did you come your name is maureen what do you do madam hold on i'm a business woman you're a business woman where i used to sell at uh, young um random canoe but right now the business is scattered. do you know why i'm asking you no I must pray for you because this thing is not only you there is nobody doing well in your family your entire family this is what I'm saying is a spirit huh? except you open up something and miss even physical money used to get missing from you you will keep money and count it and found find out that it's not what you kept is that true if I'm lying just say I'm lying where are you from from a new Anambra state. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the state Anambra. I'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state now. I'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state. Anyone, usually when God shows me this, anybody who is from that state connected by blood, the power of God begins to come upon them to bring deliverance. It's a sign and a wonder. I'm declaring right now in the name of Jesus. That anyone who is from that state and that region and there is any force and yoke that is fighting you be free right now in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus please help them be free in the name of Jesus and number states be free in the name of Jesus I'm still seeing the map in my vision be free in the name of Jesus My friend, that young man holding his hands, shout Jesus from where you are. The yoke is broken. I cast it out of your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Look at me. You insulted a woman some years ago. And the woman told you it will not be well with you. It was like a joke. Truly the thing followed you. This is what God is showing me. Now, I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I don't know if it, the woman annoyed you or what is it. You insulted the woman. 
and she stood and told you that it would not be well because what you were saying about her was not what she did hold my hands the bible says even the lawful captive shall be delivered let me tell you my brothers and my sisters the scourging tongues of men the scourging tongues of men except you know where you stand a cause causeless shall not stand but if there is a cause it will stand though it will stand are we together now i will pray where are your siblings madam hi this woman no oh. you are not here alone where are the rest call them just stand where you call what is their name hgk quickly please and victor hgk come and and who victor that is and victor son. yes victor is not your brother victor is a small my boy son, yes. where is he let him come Because I'm seeing the boy, you are saying Victor is a little boy. Ah, uh, are you married? Yes. You have a son? Yes. Your son's name too is Victor? Yes, he's the one I'm calling. Is the boy that you are talking yes. about? You said your brother. No, HK is my brother. Then Let the boy come. As young as that boy is too, if I don't pray for him, he will start stealing. Eh? There are two boys, small boys that will be delivered from this spirit. No matter where you keep anything, they must steal it. We are not condemning people. I hope you understand what I'm saying here. God is delivering people. To the pure, all things are pure. Nobody is calling any family a bad family. But this is a place where God is visiting people. Where is the person, please? Come, celebrate him as he comes. You're welcome, sir. I will pray for you. God is going to turn your family around. This is a little boy. My friend, how are you? Come. How old are you? 11 years old. You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I will pray for you. How can a nice boy like this and the next thing start picking things? Do you know? Let me tell you. These small children that steal are not thieves. It's just that either by carelessness or lack of discernment, it was not dealt with because most of what they steal they don't need it that's how you know it's a spirit are we together yes that's why it's important that parents lay hands on their children and speak and prophesy don't assume they will be spiritual by default my friend let me pray for you father thank you for this adorable young man and this guy has a great destiny you see this boy i'm looking at a star rising as i'm laying my hands on him this is what the lord is showing me in the name of jesus christ i pray for you you will be a great man by the power of the holy spirit hold this woman the anointing of the spirit is coming on her in the name of jesus christ sir what do you do a medical sales representative. You are a medical sales representative. Medical sales representative. Can I pray for you? You are a sincere person, huh? but this thing, they are just forces that want to destroy your family. I will pray for you. Huh? April, May, June. It will look like you held a charm. The way God will turn your life around. You believe it? In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. Madam, come the power of god is coming upon you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare this thing that i'm seeing tied to your waist i lose it right now by the power of the holy spirit be set free now in the name of jesus christ you are the one trusting god for a child come how long have you been married three years three years no child you too are you married five years five years four months no child child doctor said after two surgeries they said my husband cannot impregnate me he did surgery twice don't cry jesus is here huh you went through two surgeries where is your husband he's at home, he's at home. don't cry where are you from where are you coming from Graceland. you see th these are the things that sometimes worry my spirit imagine the kind of trouble that this family will go through sometimes we take some things for granted imagine the advices someone now will recommend and say go to a herbalist go and do this and don't cry my sister two surgeries you went through mm. my head 
Now, I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach. Look at what is happening to her. Yet, she went through two surgeries. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit that says your husband cannot impregnate you. In the name of Jesus, I set you free now. Madam, I set you free now. I'm praying for the rest, but I set you free now. Hold my hands, come. In the name of Jesus, I declare supernatural miracle for you now. Release this woman now. As I'm praying for you, I'm praying for your husband wherever he is. According to the time of life, may you return with your miracle children. It's over. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. My dear, let me. Why is this woman here? You are married to madam? No child? How long? Four years and um, five months. Four years, five months. Where are you coming from? Jigawa State. From Jigawa State. Please come. Oh dear. Do you know why God is dealing with these issues? Because he has declared that it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. It's fruitfulness from any dimension any dimension look at this woman look at these women crying i may never understand what it means for a woman to not be able to take in i think it's the equivalent of a man not be able to provide for his family that you come back home and watch your wife and children and they say that they were hungry and you are clueless about where bread will come from my sister please don't cry who brought you here you came alone sarah huh? sarah oh dear Put your hand on your stomach. Is she a Christian? She's, she's a Christian? Yes. Okay. It doesn't matter whether you are a Muslim or Christian. The Lord, everybody the Lord healed in the Old Testament. He healed them and gave them an opportunity to hand their lives over. You just act like this just to show honor and respect people. I will pray for you. There is a name that is above every other name. And in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon your womb and I declare the embargo of barrenness, five years barrenness, let it be broken right now. Look at this, let it be broken right now. I'm seeing something being loose from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. And then I'm seeing you coughing. You are now beginning to cough. This is what I'm seeing. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing, but I'm seeing something come out of you and you are coughing, coughing something out. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be gone now let it be gone forever let it be gone forever let it be gone forever my dear put your hand on your stomach what's your name blessing, blessing. where's your husband he's not here he's not here yes. father in the name of jesus i don't care what the medical report is we agree as a family of faith that this our dear sister carries her miracle child now i decree and declare according to the time of life return with your child whatever needs to be corrected in this body now i correct it by the power ah, i'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach this is what i'm saying you will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach in the name of jesus christ let there be a look at what is happening to her a correction a correction of whatever is wrong in the name of jesus why are they here fruit of the womb uh, we are not praying at random we we'll pray madam i will pray for you where are you coming from huh nasarawa state nasarawa state are you alone no I'm you came with who only me only you come just the woman i will pray for her we have to pray for the sick but how many of you have seen what god is doing here listen you see if you love the lord and you see god attacking
in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord just showed me something now I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire and the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people I decree in the name of Jesus Christ father whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people in the name of Jesus by the mercy of God let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now I'm seeing a family of one, two, three, four, five, six graduates. Nobody's employed. Six graduates. You are all graduates. Nobody has a job. Who is that person? Six graduates. Please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out. Six graduates. No job. Not one person has a job. I want to pray for you. You're the one for the fruit of the womb? Huh? I have to pray for you i'm seeing something in your stomach have you gone to the hospital you've spoken with a doctor don't be embarrassed i'm seeing something growing in your stomach and this is not a baby i will pray for you because if i don't pray for you you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay based on what the lord is showing me and i'm going to pray for you where are you coming from madam kano kano is your husband here is your husband here yes where is he husband sir please come there's Daddy something the lord wants to do in your family don't worry he's, he's here he's coming thank you sir thank you for coming god bless you i want to pray for you you came from kano too you came from kano too sir i'm going to pray for you thing come out of you opportunity to hand their lives opportunity to hand their lives over you just act like this just to show honor and respect people i will pray for you there is a name that is above every other name and in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon your womb and i declare the embargo of barrenness five years barrenness let it be broken right now look at this let it be broken right now i'm seeing something being loose from your stomach this is what i'm seeing and then i'm seeing you coughing you are now beginning to cough this is what i'm seeing i don't know what it is that i'm seeing but i'm seeing something come out of you and you are coughing coughing something out in the name of jesus christ let it be gone now let it be gone forever let it be gone forever let it be gone forever my dear put your hand on your stomach what's your name blessing, blessing. where's your husband he's not here he's not here yes. father in the name of jesus I don't care what the medical report is we agree as a family of faith that these are dear sister carries her miracle child now i decree and declare according to the time of life return with your child whatever needs to be corrected in this body now i correct it by the power ah, i'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach this is what i'm saying you will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach in the name of jesus christ let there be a look at what is happening to her a correction a correction of whatever is wrong in the name of jesus why are they here fruit of the womb uh, we're not praying at random we we'll pray madam i will pray for you where are you coming from Huh? Nasrawa State. Nasrawa State. Are you alone? No, I'm You came with who? Only me. Only you. Come. Just the woman. I will pray for her. We have to pray for the sick. But how many of you have seen what God is doing here? Listen, you see, if you love the Lord and you see God attacking. In the name of Jesus Christ the Lord just showed me something now I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire 
and the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people I decree in the name of Jesus Christ father whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people in the name of Jesus by the mercy of God let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now I'm seeing a family of one, two, three, four, five, six graduates. Nobody's employed. Six graduates. You are all graduates. Nobody has a job. Who is that person? Six graduates. Please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out. Six graduates. No job. Not one person has a job. I want to pray for you. You're the one for the fruit of the womb? Huh? Huh? I have to pray for you i'm seeing something in your stomach have you gone to the hospital you've spoken with a doctor don't be embarrassed i'm seeing something growing in your stomach and this is not a baby i will pray for you because if i don't pray for you you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay based on what the lord is showing me and i'm going to pray for you where are you coming from madam kano kano is your husband here is your husband here yes where is he husband sir please come there's Daddy something the lord wants to do in your family don't worry he's, he's here he's coming thank you sir thank you for coming god bless you i want to pray for you you came from kano too you came from kano too sir i'm going to pray for you number one god is going to give you the fruit of the womb number two God is restoring your finances. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. God is restoring your finances. Amen. This is a serious issue. As you are here coming now, the financial trouble you are into is only God that can bring you out. Amen. Is that true? God is going to help you. Madam, put your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, why are they here? Six graduates, no job. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, by your mercy and by your grace, let there be a sign and a wonder in the life of this woman. Just keep her down. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, everything that is wrong be corrected now. In the name of Jesus, sir, please can you hold my hands? In the name of Jesus, I speak over your finances. There is a grace that can restore and I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, let me talk to you and then we'll pray for the sick. You are the, both of you, where are you coming from? You are here in Zaria? Yes. And you are, yes, I know your face. Six graduates, no job. Yes, sir. Including you? Yes, sir. Come. No. But there are six Nigeria people. Now. Yes. But there's no job for yes, them. Yes, sir. Can we agree that God will give them a job? Yes, sir. And you too? Yes. Let's pray. Come. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, there is an anointing that is coming upon you, eh? and is for the sake of your family in the name that is above all names i release this grace upon you and i pray let the embargo of joblessness be broken now even on both of you i use you as a point of contact to pray now something is leaving this lady's hand you something is leaving your hand i cost that yoke now in the name of jesus your hand is a symbol of your productivity and i declare in the name of jesus let there be liberty liberty for all of you liberty i open the doors of jobs in jesus name i pray why is he here you are a graduate six from where please from abuja abuja yes you are a school of ministry student madam let me talk to you where are you coming from natural state are you married bring the person that begins to laugh in the spirit the hand of God is coming upon someone the 
Bible says the shouts of joy and victory will not depart from the tents of the righteous. Please bring the person. Let's save time. Father, I establish this victory over this lady's life. The oppression over your life and your family is broken now and broken forever. Broken now and broken forever. Ah, we don't have time. Our time is gone. But the Lord is showing me a very serious vision of a lady that entered a relationship with a gentleman and left him and the guy vowed i'm seeing this guy carry not you now i'm seeing this guy carry a photo and taking it to a herbalist in kaduna state under this grace whose name has been taken for any diabolic activity i stand by the hand of god whoever took it there judgment comes on them now whoever took it there judgment comes on them now whoever took it there judgment comes on them now Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. I'm still praying. Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. This is what the Lord showed me. Carry the name of the lady and kept it there. That number one, no decent man will ever come and ask her out. And number two, she will never give birth. This is what I'm seeing. Who shall say a thing and it will come to pass? That when God has not declared it so. I reverse every pronouncement over anyone here in the name of Jesus. I want to pray a prayer. Please forgive me for tonight's miracle service. The way God is taking us. I want to pray. Shade and doctor, please come. The Lord wants to end an old issue in your family. Please come. This is what the Lord is showing me. This thing I'm seeing is as old as more than 60, 70 years. The Lord is opening my eyes to see now. Please, I want to pray for you. Those under the anointing, help me. Please, I'm just using two of you as a point of contact. But I'm seeing a spirit. This is an ancient spirit. The way this thing works is that men rise. The moment they get to the zenith of anything they are doing, they must die. This is the spirit I'm seeing. Please listen. I'm not... I'm just using them and I'm ministering the way God is showing me. These are not the only families with this thing, but the Lord is saying I should deal with it now. Provided you have not gotten to the pinnacle, you, no death will touch you. But the moment you touch that bar, you are going down. And the Lord wants to destroy it. Because God is using both of you to start a new program in the family. I will follow the lion. I will follow the lamb. I will follow the lion. I will follow the lamb. I, I, I believe in the lion. I believe in the lamb. Bring that little girl, as small as that girl you see is. This girl you are seeing is a deliverer of our family. As small as you are seeing this, this little girl. Because this girl stands as an altar of righteousness over her family. And as small as she is, the devil wants to kill her. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, I use this, my dear daughter, as a point of contact. That everything that is not the planting of God, I scatter it now in the name of Jesus. May God use this, our precious daughter, and truly may she be the deliverer of our family. In the name of Jesus. A lady is going to start running because I'm about to pray over a spirit that is in her family and that spirit is going to start driving her to run away so i'm telling you in advance you are going to see the person stand up to start running away it's, it's not even this lady i'm talking about this somebody in the crowd you will not even you will not be in control of yourself it's a spirit because i'm about to rebuke it right now mm. father i thank you for the bonire family and by extension the various families the altar that sits upon this family even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives i break that yoke now i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood that ancient yoke that brings down great men over this family be broken I open up the door of increase. Rise to the zenith of your profession. I forbid the spirit of death once and for all. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, an issue that is age long. Let me tell you this. A mighty deliverance has happened to this family. This thing I'm telling you, fought their grandparents fought their parents and if not delivered now will still fight them if there's anyone here that this same spirit works in your family you rise to a position and crash down in the name of Jesus at the count of three let fire land upon such individuals and scatter that altar scatter that altar forever in the name of Jesus Christ it took words to establish the covenant that brought this family in trouble now I declare to you, a new order starts in your lineage. A new order starts in your family. Where children live long and they become successful. And that every embargo of witchcraft, once and for all, is broken in the name of Jesus. Madam, I can pray for you now. Where did you say you are from? Just, just keep her somewhere there or bring a chair and keep her. You are not from Nasarawa State. You stay in Nasarawa yes, State. Yes, Where yes. are you from? Eboin State. Eboin State. Eboin State. I want to pray for you. Am I wasting your time, please? One encounter with the power of God is enough to turn your life around. My friend, this man wearing um, you. Yes. Did you come alone? Who did you come with? Where is your wife? Come. It's time for God to change your life. Stand up. Stand up. Please stand up. Stand up. Where are you coming from? From campus, yes, sir. You are from campus, yes, sir. What do you do? I am lecturer in the university. You are a lecturer. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Ah. Sir, you are not supposed to be at this level now. You are a very brilliant man. You, but there, you are intelligent. I don't know you, all, but you are a brilliant man. It Thank even you, took grace for you to be given a lecturing job. Yes, sir. It's because there is no way they could deny you. Yes, you were too exceptional. Yes, and you are supposed to be abroad now. Yes, I don't know what has kept yes, you down. Sir. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. You are not supposed to be here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But somebody carried your issue and put it under the table. You see, you see what we are talking about? That you carry a man's destiny see let me say it i'm praying to you from my heart that in the name of jesus whatever belongs to you 
and has been hijacked by the wicked hearts of men it must be released this night it must be released this night sir please stand up what's your department political science, sir. Political science. can i pray for you yes sir you will know that there is a god in heaven amen what do you do, my dear? I'm not doing anything. You are not doing anything? No, sir. I have to pray for you. Yes, sir. Huh? That trip abroad, you must go. Amen. Amen. Because there is an honor and there is a professor that God has destined that you will meet. Amen. And I'm going to pray. Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, sir, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I release you and I release your destiny. Amen. Both for you and your wife, I decree and declare, scale new heights in your profession in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, there is a friend in your life and the Lord is telling me to tell you to be careful. There is a friend in your life. Be careful. I won't say more than that. Be careful. What God has joined, let no man put asunder. I'll stop there. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you. In Jesus' name. Madam, you have been here for a while. Let's pray. What are you trusting God for? For marriage. Who came from Joss? Joss. Joss. Where did you come from? Madam, where did you come from? Bokos. Huh? Bokos. From Joss. Not state of origin where you came from that you left it and came huh i want to pray for you what do you do i, I i'm a secretary you are what i'm a secretary you are a secretary yes, sir. come let me pray for you I... one of these days we'll just trust god and do a night vigil honestly so that we can deal with this issue seriously you may think that time is being wasted until you see what God is turning around in your life. All these people came from Joss. Madam, say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I will not have what they call that pregnancy. That they have to do. Um, no. Bridge is bridge or something like that. This is what I'm saying. I'm not pregnant. All done. Let me pray for you. Come. You are sick. It looks like pregnancy like his breach this is what i'm saying the pregnancy that looks like is that will open you up and carry something out where are you coming from Josh? what did they say is wrong with you um, multiple fibrosis no a man don't feel embarrassed can i talk to you a man used to come in a dream huh yes, and sleep with you yes, sir. is that true yes, sir. that's what brought this pregnancy I'm a man of God. Don't be af afraid. You, you heard the story I told you now. Yes, sir. Madam, if I'm lying, look at me before the whole world and say I'm a liar. That you go to bed and a man comes and all of a sudden this started coming. Of course, medically, you would think that, okay, you check it. There is nothing there. Yet the pregnancy will not go. How long has this thing been? Three years. Three years. Don't cry. Don't cry. Who did you come with? May this place remain a place of solutions. Was it not the fallen angels that met with the daughters of men and they became pregnant physically? And had strange go and listen to my teaching the mystery of the serpent and the woman my sister can I pray for you you believe in Jesus look at this adorable lady look at imagine a woman carrying this for three years is that pregnancy it does a human being stay three years in the stomach are you married of course imagine what this this means to her marital life put your hand there 
father in the name of jesus christ look at this look at what is happening to the woman in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that every seed that has not been planted by god let it be uprooted in this body is it not written that every tree that has not been planted by my father it must be uprooted i uproot this right now in the name of jesus christ i uproot this right now in the name of jesus by a strange mystery may this thing begin to go down and disappear from this woman's body in the name of jesus christ just keep her down there madam let me pray for you what do you want the lord to do for you i'm believing him for a life partner life partner do you believe god can give you a life partner yes, sir. do you love jesus? love jesus you are born again father the bible says male and female he created them she's not embarrassed she's standing sincerely and telling you that i came so that god will bless me with a life partner i lay my hands upon you and i decree and declare may god bring a responsible man to your life Amen. you will not marry a man that will make your yesterday better than your tomorrow Amen. in the name of jesus christ i declare it so and for all these people standing i pray for them may the lord himself bring miracles over their life in jesus name i pray i may not have time to minister to all of you one by one please forgive me huh coincidentally i'm going to just tomorrow i'll be in just saturday sunday i'm ministering in a conference i'm excited i'll be in house on the rock at rayfield saturday and sunday i mean just but let me pray for you all of you who came all the way my dear look at me you love jesus yes sir with all your heart yes sir i drive the boy that the devil wants to bring to your life say amen amen you you may not understand what i'm saying but let me repeat myself i drive i didn't say god drove him in the name of jesus christ as one who loves you well eh? i drive any irresponsible boy that is coming in the name of prayer warrior to destroy your life amen in the name of jesus i'm amen. not looking down it is god's will that all men be saved but then I'm telling you that in the name of Jesus Christ, everything that would destroy your destiny, let it be far from you. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. For all of you, I may not know why you came, but let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. In the name, just believe what I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. God bless you. Please go back to your seat, my God. Can we still pray for the sick? How many of you are trusting God for healing? Let me see your hands out there. Okay, this is what is going to happen. It's okay. I'm, I'm going to pray for you. you. You came, you brought them. Okay, I'm going to pray for you now. You just relax. Now, please, because of time, those under the anointing, just leave them if there's no... Usher, hold on. A lady usher, place your hand on that girl. Any lady usher. Release her now. Out! In the name of Jesus. Let it come to an end now and forever. Release her destiny. Release her family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be restoration. Let there be testimonies. Please, this is how we are going to do it. Because our time is already gone. We are going to do three things at the same time. Please listen. Number one, you are going to be submitting your prayer requests. Number two, those who are trusting God for healing in the various overflows. Please, aside from those that I prayed for for barrenness, if your reason of coming here is barrenness, whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I want you to come to overflow one. I want to pray for you myself. Aside from that, please, you are trusting God for a healing miracle. 
I want you to move to your various overflows. So those are overflow one, move to the front of your projector stand. Overflow two, the same thing. Overflow three, the same thing. Those by the roadside, the roadside down to second equa. Join overflow two. You can join overflow two, please. Usher's protocol PR department, coordinate yourself to help them, please. So that the people know what they are doing. Praise the Lord. Those in here, you can come. You can come. The Lord bless you. Now, there are going to be men and women of God scattered across these various places who are ministering under a corporate anointing. Make sure you are standing for healing, please. Make sure you are standing for healing. No, no, no. Those for fruit of the womb, come in, please. The main auditorium. I want to lay hands on you by myself. It doesn't matter what overflow you are. If it is fruit of the womb, please come. The main auditorium. I want to pray for you. Now, please listen. Just a touch is enough. You don't have to start explaining and telling the men of God this is a problem. Sometimes God can give them words. If they don't, don't worry. Just a touch and you will go back. I want you to believe this. That's why you came. Are we together? While that is happening, if you have your prayer request here, you can just wave it and pass it. Let there be an usher. Okay, um, peace is here. You can pass it. Let there be an usher or somebody. Please, um, the various departments, coordinate yourself so that you are collecting this. Let's make it fast. Those online, um, you can use our social media platforms to submit your requests. And we're going to pray on it right now. Please, quickly, quickly. A Jimmy and a Jimmy and promise will go to overflow one. A Jimmy and promise will go to overflow one. Um, Pastor Alpha and Benga will go to overflow three. Overflow three. Pastor Femi and Kenny. And Ima go to overflow too. Also extend to those by the roadside. Extend to those by the roadside. Did you get? Let me pray for you, Pastor Lawrence. Come. I will pray for you and then you will join those at overflow three. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the anointing, let the grace of the Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, please, worship team, you give us songs of the Spirit while we are ministering. And as soon as hands are laid on you, you can go back rejoicing. Those who are seated, don't be careless, be praying in the Spirit. Because God is solving people's problems while you gather the prayer requests. If you are yet to submit yours, just wave it and there will be someone to reach you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare that within the next 10 or so minutes that we have, do a quick walk in the life of your people. In the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk in the life of your people. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone will fall under the anointing here. Once that happens, the power of God will start moving to heal. Right here, those in front here. Okay, so I can start praying now. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Praise the Lord. Please, everyone stand. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Whether you are inside or outside, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the next dimension of my life opens up now. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Please begin to pray.
the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I like you to begin to declare that every request you have written here that by the grace of God this will be the last time you have to visit this issue please pray please pray our time is gone but let's make use of the time stretch your hands here and begin to decree and declare that in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God every request that I've written here by the God of heaven let this be the last time may the Lord arise and solve impossible situations arise in the name of Jesus are you praying father that these Egyptians that I see today I see them no more forever the requests of those localized here and those who have posted their requests on our social media platforms we declare intervention we declare breakthrough we declare increase hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ we declare and we agree as a family of faith that this request will turn into testimonies in your life we declare that this request turn into supernatural testimonies the same way I am standing upon them, I decree you stand upon every situation that is represented here in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that they are still praying for a few people, but let me just pray the final prophetic blessing on you because our time is gone. He says, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. I decree and declare, every economic hardship that is bringing the saints to their knees and causing them to compromise, I declare that you are exempted from it now. Every prayerlessness represented in this place that the grace to pray seems to have gone down in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar anybody introduced by the devil into your life or your circle to destroy you I severe you from them right now in Jesus' name. I speak favor over your life. And I declare in the name of Jesus, walk in favor. 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 Therefore, God has exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name it says that at the mention of that name every knee must bow i declare whatever must bow in your life from tonight let it bow right now let me pray for you finally and especially for those of us who are not within this city if you traveled far and came i'm praying for you now in the name that is above all names to all our visitors and all those who connect with us from far that includes those from our social media platforms i decree and declare whatever the issue of concern is that brought you here 
Return with the answers now. Return with the answers now. You will not need to tell people you came here. There will be the radiance and the glory of the spirit upon your life. I declare that every door that has refused to open, even as the Lord kept revealing here, I enforce it and we call that door open now. The new month is the fourth month of the year. The number four stands for balance. That means that whatever is left that must be shown in your life, you are blessed here but not yet blessed here. You are blessed here but not yet blessed here. I declare completion for you now. May April bring you completion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.